this model it's got a classification uh, is it 1P? I think it's 1P which is very light in real life it will weigh just over 400 metric tons I think it will just 140 tons in weight in real life obviously this I think it's like 15 kilograms so if boulder goes on it it will just break but if it falls off the table it won't break it might damage scratch you a bit but it won't pretty really break it they're indestructible little models really I do like these why I got so many of them one time but yeah so detail wise I reckon it's about well the cab is impeccable let me show you that now so the cab is in here which is nothing really you probably can add some cab to yourself to it but I haven't um, that's the motor which I think it's uh, uh, is there a ring for a motor or is it something type I can't remember what type of motor that one is but it's not the most reliable model motors in the aspect of things but um, it's not the best but it's good enough for what you pay for it so yeah so I'll give this a rating the performance is 4 out of 10 because it does stutter on points but that's because of of this rating this <clears throat> this wheel arrangement right here that's why the wheels struggle on the motor it's just because of that um, so it's just a small period of Hornby 12 volts DC it's a Coco is it a Boco or is it Coco? Coco is 2 before the wheel arrangement which is like this so it's a Coco locomotive being how small it is and obviously the, the design of it is because something else but 0 to 60 on this model is insanely fast being it is supposed to be a shunter and it the top speed the top speed on the model in real life will only go about 8 to about 20 miles per hour in real life but that's basically all that it has but um, yeah it's not it's not really designed for the high enthusiast but it's good for what it is that's all it is it's basically a model I think we have just had a parcel being delivered I have to have a look after I've done my video so yes obviously I will I will have a real arrangement of a Boco locomotive, the Coco locomotive, sorry. So the the strength of it in real life would have been pretty weak. But it would have had a habit of wheel slippage, traction control issues, um, in the line of, you know, a lot of issues with this model. But as for a model and not the real thing, it is pretty basic but it's pretty good for the detail and the price for it seeing how cheap it was at the time but yes my first the first I've still got some of the original wagons from that set I bought my mum bought me several years ago that's how long ago some of the stuff was so I rate performance is a 4 for this model 
um, because obviously it does start start over points. Um, running performance move a lot. It can pull quite a lot actually. Even with some heavy coaches, it can still pull a reasonable amount. So the problem in the performance, I'll get about five and a half. Um, liability is about four, I would say. The couplings are way too big, but again, it is a basic train for someone getting just getting into the hobby. So it's not for the high enthusiast modelers out there. Yeah, it's just for a bit of fun. You can basically set this that up or under a Christmas tree every year. They go around with the goods, <laughs> with presents or chocolates and snacks or things like that. But it's just a bit of fun. And that's why in summer I like to go to real um, heritage lines and main lines to see the trains coming through. Because some of the trains you get through down here is quite interesting, new to old. So, yeah. So overall, I'll get about about seven out of ten for this model, for what you got for it. It's basic, but it's good. Pretty good for what you get. Now we on to the Dash Eight, which I got a few years ago. Um, interesting locomotive, isn't it? <laughs> it's the Dash Eight. It's thirty fifty one. Um, and it's Romic Gorg something. I'm not totally sure because I'm, I'm not American. I would not understand what that, that, that word is supposed to mean. Anyone of you American viewers watch my channel, please let me know what this actually means. I love here because I have no clue what that means. Um, the same with the Ross Stripe on this one. It's, it's just orange and black basically instead of yellow and black. They've gone for a different colour. But you have got more detail on this locomotive. How can you take the detail the locomotive off? Um, well, you can't take the body off easily because it's being screwed in by a screw underneath the, this box here. But running performance, I had it for a few years. Um, it's a lovely train. My gosh, it's quite loud, but it does have lights. Um, the front two there light up, and those two at the top light up, and the headboard. Since, you know, it's my first American train I've got for the layout, but it's nice to have a, a variety of different trains to have on my layout, because I've got a house line based, and my next one will be a permanent house line based layout, so anything can go so it doesn't matter if a diesel dash 8 turns up pulling beside a like the flying scotsman somehow or 47's pulled beside it 